Oh, I got a gun. Let's go, baby. Freaking wagon wheel. We just got two guns back to back. He's coming to whoop my ass. Oh, dude, we got a cannonball. What's up guys, welcome back to another beautiful fall day. It is finally the weather that I love. I've been sweating all summer. It's perfect magnifishing weather today. So that is what we're going to do. We're gonna be doing some magnifishing at some brand new areas that I just found on Google Maps. This bridge behind me, never been to before and it's pretty interesting because it has zero railing which could mean there could be some very, very big stuff. So we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. I'm about to strap on the GoPro, grab the magnet, go ahead to the bridge and hopefully find some really cool stuff. So don't forget to leave a like and let's get right into the video. It's a little bit sketchy. I don't know, I got a good feeling about it though. Hopefully we can find some cool stuff. There's a little fishing lure right there. Off to a good start already. Feels heavier. Oh yeah, we got a couple things on the very first throw. It looks like a bunch of junk. And then this thing, this looks like one of those skateboard tools, kind of, but I definitely don't think that's what it is. We've got a magnet full of just little tiny crusties on that throw right there. Bunch of weird stuff. All right, well, at least we got something on the first throw. Well, I got something on that throw as well. All right, there we go. I like that we're getting stuff here. Just a tiny little pipe. Kind of looks like a barrel. I don't think it is though, too short. And we also got, what are these things? Because I found a couple of these before. I can't remember what they are. I need Blake. I need Blake to help me figure out what all this stuff is. Partial piece of like a socket wrench. A bunch of garbage. That wasn't even a good throw either. Let's get an actual good throw in. Dang, this water has already gotten so cold. It's only been like 70 for a couple days and this water is already cold. What do we got? Uh, ooh, I don't know what we got here. Oh, that's weird. Is that a door? What kind of door is that? I wonder if that's some sort of weird safe door, but it's made out of cement. That goes like that. There it is. That's some sort of weird door made out of a cinder block. That's gotta be a piece of a safe. That has to be. There's no way it's not. That's weird. I don't know what that is. Oh, you know what? This might be a furnace, like a, a smelter furnace. I'm gonna go with furnace. I'm gonna, I'm gonna not say safe. That'd be cool if we could pull up a full one of those. Just random pieces of garbage. Well, we got our first bigger find of the day. We'll take that. The small finds are slowly filling up the bucket. There we go. All right, I think we got our first lawnmower blade. Wait, no, that's not a lawnmower blade. Oh, shoot. What is that? It's a piece of wood with some metal on it. All right, that's weird. We're getting a lot of weird stuff today. I mean, we got a cinder block with a piece of metal on it, and now we got this little piece of wood with a piece of metal on it that actually just broke off. There we go. All right. Getting a lot of randomness today. Let's keep on fishing. Also, if you guys are interested in getting into magnet fishing, go check out battlemagnets.us. Link's down in the description. If you guys wanna go find some cool stuff of your own. It's just a bunch of garbage down there, man. We're pulling something apart, man. There's something big down there that we're just pulling apart piece by piece. There we go, we got something coming. This is a good weight. Whoa, what is this? Is this a, oh, we got a shock. There we go, we got ourselves a shock on that throw. That has been down there for a while. Man, we didn't get to this one in time. Unfortunately, it leaked all the fluid that was inside of it. That's probably toxic to the fish. Man, I see all this stuff down there. It's like just deep enough to where I can't see it. But when I lift it up a little bit, I can see it. <laughs> a little fishing rig. There's a hook that caught a socket. I don't think he was fishing for some sockets. Yeah, hey, you never know though. He might have been. I guess that's technically what I'm doing right now. Because I'm not not fishing for sockets. Where's a gun, man? You never really find too many guns over here. When you find a gun over here, it just hits different. A lot of the areas we were in before, we found a lot of guns, so we almost kind of got numb to it. Got a little keychain ring or something. A little welding rod. Some sort of cap. Oh, it's in a baggie, I think. Or did we just catch a bonus bag? Yeah, we just caught ourselves a little bonus baggie. There we go. It's like an ice bag. Garbage, man. Garbage. Oh. What do I got? Get off me, fly. Oh, I got a little fishing lure. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he caught anything. All right, let's go try this side. Oh, geez, this is slippery. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm ice skating right now. <laughs> Here we go. Finally, first throw on this side, we get something big. Whoa, it's a bucket. What's inside the bucket? The bucket is full of something. It is heavy. Oh, what's inside? Dude, this bucket is full. I'm gonna go dump this in the trailer and we're gonna see what's inside. We just doubled our finds with that one find right there. I'm shocked that it all stayed inside. Oh, that's heavy. Let's dump it out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is. It looks like just pieces of the motor. 
drill bits. I'm gonna go with just a bunch of pieces of a motor. Yeah, there's some belts. Well, we just got a build your own motor bucket. We got another power tool, I think. Bro, what is that? Here's the cord to it. Is it an old iron maybe? No, what is that? I know someone's gotta know what this is down in the comments. All right, well, that's cool. We'll throw that in the bucket. No idea what it is, some sort of power tool, I assume. And then just, of course, the typical garbage that you get on every throw. We got a bunch of garbage. Oh, we got a speaker magnet. There we go. Man, I don't know why we've been finding so many of those recently. Speaker magnet was about the only cool thing on that throw. It's good though. Each throw we are getting a tiny little bit of stuff. And that stuff does add up once you throw it in the bucket. Like we'll end up getting an extra like 30, 40 pounds by the end of the day, just by taking all those nails and little whatever, tiny little bottle caps and stuff, they all add up. Oh man, they oh, I got a gun, let's go baby. Let's go. It was under a bunch of sticks. <laughs> let's freaking go. Oh my gosh, I just jumped and the whole bridge threw me back up. Oh, I was not expecting to get a gun here. 22 long rifle phoenix arms ontario canada that's a cool pistol right there it is a model hp 22a let's go baby a freaking pistol i was not expecting to find that here i literally was talking about it earlier it's still got around a, oh, a magazine in it i can't clear this one all right we got to be careful with this let's go dude freaking pistol <laughs> i don't think i ever found a pistol in arkansas i think that's the first one i could be wrong that's freaking awesome man oh there we go we got something else by the bush too another gun oh my gosh y'all are you kidding me we got a shotgun is that a shotgun or is it a rifle no that's definitely a rifle dude we just got two guns back to back are you kidding me that's definitely a rifle right by the tree in the same spot dude back to freaking back let's freaking go baby it looks like it's some sort of higher caliber a little bit hand thing broke oh let's go dude we're getting the whole set we got a rifle and a pistol and two throws we need the shotgun and we'll be ready to go well let's take another throw by the tree i haven't found a rifle in a while too or, or actually the last rifle i found was the ar that feels good man back to back freaking guns oh i just junk oh all right man <laughs> well it would have been crazy if we went three for three, but two for two is still freaking insane. I got a little belt buckle right there too. I did feel a bunch of other stuff, so I would not be surprised if there's another one. I can't see what it is, but it was a really big freaking click. Oh, dude, we got a cannonball. Let's go. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Bro, this is the second cannonball that I found in Arkansas. It's a little, I think it's called a grape shot. Can no, not a grape shot. Yeah, I think it is called the Grape Shot. Let's go, dude. A freaking cannonball. Oh my gosh. Are you freaking kidding me? Holy crap, we got a freaking, what is it? A damn armory down there, bro. Holy crap, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. This side's freaking loaded. We got two guns and a cannonball. And those ones are not explosive, by the way. Though That is solid. I'm pretty sure that's called the Grape Shot Cannonball. I found one in Arkansas before, but that one is in way better shape. Let's go, dude. Are you kidding me? Someone just dumped all their stuff down here. Oh, I'm so happy right now. I knew this spot was going to be loaded. Oh, we got some brake pads and a, I don't know what that is. Got a little brake brake pad. All right. It's hard because I can't see it because there's a shadow on this side. Oh, we got half of a horseshoe. There we go. That's cool. Let's go, man. Who knows how old some of this stuff is now. The power ball's like at $1.2 billion. Not going to lie. I, I bought a ticket. So I need to find a horseshoe. If I win the power ball, y'all, I'm, I'm going to give away $50,000 on the channel. Let's do a pick one random comment on this video. Here we go. We got another brake shoe or another brake pad. And we got something else that looks weird. Is that a toothbrush? Oh no, of course. It's a cereal eating spoon. Actually, this one actually might be a cereal spoon because it is not burned. If my math, maths, there should be two more down there. Keep on throwing. I'd like to get another freaking cannonball though. I'd like to get, I'd like to get an explosive cannonball. It's not out of the realm of possibilities if we got a grape shot cannonball that there would be a case shot cannonball down there. You'd see me lose my mind and freak out and think I'm gonna die. That's usually what happens, but it gives you such a rush playing with a bomb. I don't recommend it. Give me something good. We got something, just a random piece of metal. There we go. Oh, we got a baby pocket knife. Look at that. 
tr you have to have a trained eye to be able to tell what that is. Uh, it's cut in half though, and a little battery. Here we go, we got something from under the tree. Stay on. What are you? Oh, it's a jack. I got excited because they came from under the tree. The guns have been coming from under the tree, but we'll take a jack, that's cool. Oh, I think we got the handle right here too. Oh, someone's flying. Someone's coming quick. It's the mafia, they found out. They found out about the bombs. Oh, it's the motorcycle mob, bro. Dude, this thing still works. What the heck? That guy is hauling ass, holy crap, he's flying. He didn't even slow down on the bridge. Now it's like whenever I hook onto something, I'm like, what is it? Like, there's no telling what it could be with the stuff that we found here. We could go find a freaking grenade. We're finding like cannonballs and stuff. We got, I think we got the other hat. Whoa, what kind of handle is that? That is a weird looking handle right there. And just a bunch of garbage. We might have to go dump the bucket here soon. <laughs> the bucket's filling up. Might have to make a midday bucket dump. And we got a little file, I think. Is that a file or a knife blade? Nope, that is a file. And this thing, no idea what it is. Bunch of garbage, man. Oh, it's another brake pad. <laughs> All right, we have officially found more brake pads than guns. A sad day, sad day. Got ourselves a nice little brake pad and some welding rods. At least we're not finding like millions of welding rods like we were in Louisiana. I want like a nice big find here. No, a upper size medium find. Something that's not gonna make me struggle too bad, but it's still a lot of weight. What is this? All right, that thing came out of the freaking ground. What do we got here? This is weird. All right, it's something. We'll take it, a little piece of junk. Not really, I was gonna say like that, it kind of looks like a machete blade, but I don't think so. And we also got this little pulley thing. I'm pretty sure this is a piece to like a power line, something electrical, and we got ourselves a chain. We got that magnificent drip right there. What are these things? I've been finding a lot of these. I don't know, not that, that is just random. But these things, like little caps for something i think this is like number six or something i've been finding a lot of those someone's homemade fishing plate nuts and bolts people use anything for a fishing weight oh yeah we got something what is this all right it's like a box or a piece of a box we got a little uh co2 cartridge right there cool throw that in the bucket and we got ourselves a piece of a radio, I think. Yeah, that definitely looks like a car radio. There we go. Pop that in there and a bunch of probably components to the radio. It looks like it exploded when it hit my magnet. There we go. We got it off the ground. That was literally like straight in front of me. There we go. We got it. Oh, we got ourselves a, uh, I know what this is. Why can't I think of the name of it? It's for air conditioning. It's for a piece of an air conditioner. Let's go, baby. That's actually worth a lot of money at the scrapyard. Oh, here we go. Let's toss that back out there. This whole thing is full of copper coils and wires and stuff. That's why it's worth so much at the scrapyard. See that copper coming off? All in there. It's all coiled up around there. And that thing is heavy. There we go. We got our first bigger find of the day. Or, I don't know. Is that the first bigger one? I'm going to say it's definitely the heaviest thing we got all day. Got a magnet full of junk. What is this? It almost looks like it's decorative. It almost looks like some sort of decorative piece or something. And then, of course, just a ton of nails. Oh, we got a piece of a lighter. There we go. We got like a little top half of a lighter, the flint part. Yeah, it's almost time to dump this bucket here. That is like the third or fourth train I've heard since I've been here. Got a log. We also got something on top of the log. Oh, we got a little spinner bait for fishing right there. A little Ozark Trail spinner bait. Throw that in the bucket. Probably could fix that up. But like a lot of the stuff that we find, like the tools and the fishing lures and stuff, that could easily be fixed up and usable. Yeah, that's definitely some sort of coin right there. That's cool. I don't know what kind of coin. Throw it in there. It's obviously not worth anything if it's magnetic. I'm gonna wash her. All right, cool. Let's keep on going. That was kind of like more under. All right, well, we got something right here. What is it? Just a bunch of nothing. Heavy weighted metal. We got a little movement. What is this? I have no idea. Oh, we got a couple things. It's a vacuum cleaner. That's what it is. Oh my gosh, I was trying to figure out what that was. It's a Hoover. At least I think Hoover is a vacuum cleaner. I could be wrong. Oh, let's throw all my stuff away, so. I don't get whacked. Yeah, we got some sort of vacuum cleaner thing going on right here. All right, we'll take it. 
Dang, man, it is sketchy when a car goes by. Oh no, he's coming back. He's in the mob, y'all. He's coming to whoop my ass. I didn't do nothing, man, that's what I'm doing back. Yeah, I got a couple things. I got like a piece of an AC unit, bucket full of just random junk. I tossed it and grabbed that bell right back into the fucking You never know what's going on. Yeah. Oh, what was that? I got a little tape measure. But do you know what's actually crazy though? I'm pretty sure that he just said that his buddy threw a muzzle loader in here. This might be a muzzle loader. <laughs> this might be the gun he was just talking about. I don't know, is this a muzzle loader, y'all? It might be. I couldn't hear him if he said his buddy threw one in or his buddy found one. I try to hide the guns that I find. I figured I really wouldn't need to do it here though because we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. What do we got? Yeah. Oh, I got some sort of weird can, a dust off. Well, someone was probably, yeah, look, they didn't even use it. <laughs> they were they were getting high off this. They didn't even use it. Look, the thing is still taped to the side. They were just huffing it. All right, there we go. Well, our bucket is almost getting full here. I think we might have to go on to a new spot before his boy Brian pulls up and tries to get his freaking muzzle loader back. What do we got? Ah, just got more metal, man. More metal. I'm gonna take a couple more throws here and then we're gonna go get a little change of scenery. We're gonna go try to find another bridge. Try to find, what you mean try to find another bridge? We're gonna find another bridge and it's gonna be loaded. Cause I'm the best at finding spots there ever was. But what y'all don't see is the, the hundreds of in-between bridges <laughs> that I hit daily. I'll be out here all day. Sometimes it takes multiple days, but we make it happen. We, I'd say we did pretty damn good in this spot right here. Two guns, a cannonball, and a full bucket full of junk. One bridge down, and it's so shallow I can see the bottom. Oh, that is a sick find right there. Holy crap. That is cool. All right, we're about to pull that up. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but this is freaking awesome. Bro, it's a freaking wagon wheel, dude. What? All right, we're pulling this up. This is about to be sick. I don't I don't know if I found one of these before. Oh my gosh, I don't think I was recording, but I pulled it up, y'all. I got the wagon wheel up. Dang it, man, I was not recording. Are you kidding me? All the spokes are broken. I was trying to be so gentle with pulling it up, but unfortunately, a couple spokes broke. That thing is so freaking cool though, man. Look at that, oh legit. I, th I think it's a wagon wheel. I could be wrong. Freaking sick. It's between the cannonball and the wagon wheel for the coolest find of the day. Here we go, we got a little something. We got a railroad spike. All right, nothing too crazy. We also got this thing. Oh, a piece of a fishing rod. Spadoink. Well, just the nails. Literally the only thing we got here was the wagon wheel and I could see it when we pulled up. We're off to another spot. I'll take that. If that's the only thing we found here, uh, I'll, I, I can be happy with that. That is awesome. Let's see, does the wheel still wheel? Oh yeah. That wheel is still wheeling. Oh yeah, I think I got me a spare tire now for the runner. Oh dude, it's the same size, bro. Look at that. Oh, I see a dead turtle. I don't see nothing but a ton of bottles. Oh my gosh. Look at all the old bottles down there. Jeez, there's a ton of them. Yeah, I really don't see anything. Man, there really is a lot of old bottles right there. Oh, there's a beaver dam. That's why there's no water. Off to another spot. Fortunately, there's nothing here. Oh, I take that back. There's one thing. A pair of busted glasses. <laughs> there we go. Out of the corner of my eye when I was driving, I had to turn around. It really does look like some sort of safe. Is that a backpack right there too? I don't know what that is. It's something metal. I'm gonna have to wait for Blake to pull that one out. Just right in the ditch right here. There's fines everywhere, man. And that is gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. If you guys have made it all the way to the end of the video, comment cannonball. I was blown away by how much stuff we found at that bridge. I was not expecting to find that many guns or a cannonball at all. It was definitely a great day at Magnet Fishing. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.